Okay, so let's actually update our inbox to make it look a little bit better to where it's like a list of uh, our messages and then who it's from and all that. So um, let's go into our template file inbox. So now instead of having the body in there, we're gonna keep that out. Um, but well, maybe we actually wanna put um, our every message in something like this where it's alternating you know, between it. So let's actually make it into a table. So I'm gonna do table class equals to table. And I want to check how this table works. Um, I'm gonna take it out of that in four. I'm gonna check how, how a table so I can see this like kind of alternating colors. Um, so I wanna to go to get bootstrap and kind of see that as a reference uh, for those colors that alternate. Um, because if, if we don't check the reference, then maybe we are just gonna be making something up. Um, oops, so I wanna go into CSS, not components. And then we're gonna to wanna to go into tables. Okay, so table striped rows is what we're looking for, and that's perfect, that's exactly what I want. So let's add this class, um, and we are going to add it within the T body, as it says. So down here, I'm gonna do T body equals to that. Oops, a couple mistakes there, so let's just try that again. T body class equals to that. All right, and now we can add some rows in here. So table row. Now this is where I'm gonna copy this one and put it above that table row and copy the in four. So we could do a few things here. So let's add a header and say from, and then maybe subject. And we'll call T head. And T head will make sure that the no matter what, this is gonna be at the very top of the table. Um, okay, so now that we have this row, we add some columns with TD, and then the first column is gonna match that first TH, so from, and this is gonna be sender, so item dot sender. And then we have our subject here, so TD subject, um, so that's gonna be item dot body, or excuse me, no, that would be item dot subject. And we can truncate the amount of words there um, to let's say well, let's say like five, um, just to keep it nice and clean for us. And then um, we could put the date at the front of it so we can see when it was. So item dot sent uh, date time. Uh, or I'll just leave it like that for now. We'll kind of clean that up later. Let's go back in here and do a refresh. Uh, now towards the bottom we have um, all of our different uh, items, but we are not seeing the subject. It's because I spelt it incorrectly. So subject, get ready for some coding. Okay, cool. And we'll say if item.sent. In the future, this if item.sent won't matter. And if, oh, looks like I accidentally deleted some stuff. Okay. All right, now, so we have our time and we have them backwards. We actually want them uh, to be the newest ones first. So we can change the ordering uh, shortly, um, but we have our subject and we notice that it cuts off after five. So maybe we want it after like 10 and there we go. So that gives us a little bit of a better thing here. And maybe we want this to be in a small little bit smaller so the text is not as prominent right um, and we can set the date on there if we want uh, the next thing would be we want to set the URL but before I get ahead of myself I want to change how the URLs will look so I'm gonna do so I'm gonna do def uh, get absolute URL of self and it's gonna return um, I want the reverse of uh, the URL name for that and also that ID. So um, let's actually do that now. In order to get the reverse of that, I have to actually import uh, the ability to do so. So from Django.core.url URL resolvers import reverse. So this allows us to get a, a URL based on its URL name. 
Uh, so in this case, we are going to be doing view direct message as the URL name. Um, so down in our models, we're going to do reverse. And it's um, the URL view direct message. Uh, so view direct message, just like that. Put that there. And then we want to add our keyword arguments. Keyword args equals two, and then it's going to be ID, and that's self.id. And then we want to close off that return. So, what this is doing is it's going to return the reverse of that URL, right? So, the name of that URL, and then it's going to use the keyword arguments of that. Um, this allows us to get that absolute URL. So back into our inbox, in excuse me, um, we are going to be linking up this. So a href equals to um, item dot get absolute URL. And we will link the entire subject, save it. Go back into here. Uh, looks like only part of it's coming through. It says messages slash inbox, but we're actually missing something. So let's let's see what's going on in our models. Um, keyword args ID. It's actually this. So we use dm underscore ID uh, in our URLs. That was this right here. So now if we go back in and refresh, it now shows the correct link. And there we go. So now we can actually see that stuff so we can get rid of our old one in our inbox. Everything above the table. And we can kind of leave that as is. And there we go. Now, now we have our date. We have the message. Maybe we can put the date at the end so it doesn't look um, so right in front of your face. Um, and there we go. So there's the date. Um, nice little list of the subjects and you can kind of see it and it's really kind of coming together pretty well. Of course, we could add a link to who it's from um, and we could do that next. But the more important thing is, is I want to put links underneath messages. So the default when you click message will go to inbox, but then we want to see compose and sent and all that other stuff uh, below it. So uh, back into our base, we will now add this new one where it's if messages in request get full path, we are going to add a kind of list of links below it. I'm just going to use messages for now. So if we refresh, oops, I need to. Put that end if after. So end if back in here, refresh. Okay, so if messages, now if we go home, it goes away. Messages, it shows up. Perfect. So we need to change the URLs a little bit. Uh, inbox can stay um, as inbox, but we can get rid of maybe the badge in there and call it inbox instead of messages. Um, or maybe we could, you know, keep the badge on inbox and not necessarily on messages or, you know, that type of thing. And then we want to see sent. So sent mail. Um, I don't need a badge on sent mail. And sent. There we go. So messages inbox sent. And then maybe compose would be the one right above sent. Because again, this is not an email service. This is really just a kind of messaging system. Actually, let's let's actually put that above inbox, and then that way I can put the badges there again, um, right next to the inbox. Uh, but I'll put it after. There we go. So now we have messages, compose, inbox, um, and maybe if we did if messages in there, we can take away the badge from that. So we'll say if not messages in there, um, then messages won't show up.
cool. So now if we're in messages, it's going to show us this stuff. If we're not in there, uh, it's not going to show us that, but it will show us what's what's there in the messages and stuff. And uh, it just makes it nice and easy so we can compose. Uh, we want to change compose to being compose. So now you can write a new message, uh, your inbox sent view. Cool. All right. So uh, in the next one, we will um, clean this up again and then also add uh, into our inbox maybe the ability to reply to a message. Okay. So we'll see you then.